HTMS transports from the development SAP. So, in, so in the above system, how we are performing the uh, STMS transports from the development SAP system to quality through production, how we are moving. Similarly, the CTMS service cloud transport management service we will use in the cloud level, BTP level from one sub account to another sub account. We will use the CTMS here, right? So before that, let's start discussing about the some important what is CTMS here, right? CTMS the map is the development content, development artifacts, specific application content. We can move to the development to quality systems. We can move it here. That's possible. CTMS is possible here, right? So then, so it's a, it's a, it's a manage the software deliverables, deliverables between accounts of different accounts of different environments also, like Cloud Foundry to ABAP, ABAP to Neo, Neo to some Tima. So one region to another region. So we can manage the the software deliverables between the accounts, right? By transporting the various across the runtime here. This includes the application specific content as well here. So what the the advantage of the, the CTMS is it's as a transparency to the audit trail of the changes who performed the changes in your production environment and also it will provide the graphical level some report to you so that we will come to know what is the percentage of the success rate failure rate all those things we can perform it in the year right it's a artifacts transport content so they are the multiple changes whatever you perform in the development those things we can transport it to the the one thing to another one means one sub account level to another sub account level here right so if i talk about the futures of this concept futures of the service features so the future means it's a fully cloud based it's a fully cloud based tool it's a fully cloud oh, people are <coughs> People are joining very late. Even after two minutes, I started. After five minutes, also people are joining. So that's fine. It's a fully cloud-based tool. It will handle the transports without need and on-premise. Any system, any additional tool, any third party, any additional infrastructure tool, just using the BTP URL, we can do the transports. That's why it's a fully cloud-based tool. There is no dependency on the on-prem systems, additional infrastructure, any third party services or anything here. Now, also, it's a controlling. Maybe we can say like here, better control. Better control of changes here, control of changes here. Why? Because by enabling the seed transport management, we can add better control of the changes through the production environment, production cloud environments. We can plan it here. Like one single place, we can we can just one single URL, cloud-based URL, just you can transport the changes to the development to quality, quality to production. So no other way, only cloud-based URL we have to transport it here. Means we can control it here. And also the integration. It's easy, easily we can integrate to the other applications as well. We can also trigger the transport directly from the application specific tools as well. Suppose like so the cloud integration, UI integration suit, so CI, CD transports, application transports, ANA transports, ABAP transports, all those things we can we can easily integrate to the CTMS, then we can transport it here. Right. And also they are the various content types, content types. So this will support the various content type here, the transport of the development content, various content type here. Like suppose like example. So multi-target application. <clears throat> what are the supported content type using the CTMS? What we can transport it here, right? So various content type means what content? One is the so multi mtar files. Normally we will call it as the MTA files or MTAR files. Multi-target application. So yesterday different spaces between the different spaces, different sub accounts. Yesterday using the business application studio, we have developed the one custom application using the BAS. The extension of the file name is called the MTAS. Like multi-target application file we have developed yesterday, right? 